Hey, YouTube people, welcome to Sea Butters Tech. And uh, I've got with me here today a Surface Go 3. And this little guy, I, I mean, I just love the form factor of this thing. It's so light and easy to carry. It's not the most powerful thing in the world. Uh, but today I wanna show you how to install Windows subsystem for Android complete with Google Play on this device because uh, you're able to, thanks to the work by uh, Windows developers, uh, you can get Android subsystem on even a Surface Go 3 with pretty decent performance. I'll show you that and how to install a few different apps that we'll look at and check out performance on it. So the Surface Go 3 is not the most powerful device in the world, but it's actually capable of running these Android apps at a fairly decent cadence. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so one of the first things you'll have to do to get uh, this running is use a really great script that we're going to look at, uh, and it's called Magisk on WSA. And uh, I'm going to walk you through how exactly to do some of this, and we may have to fast forward <laughs> some of this as we go through it because it is uh, fairly time consuming for some of the steps. But uh, you can see right here, you want to go to this address. And one of the first things you're going to want to do is uh, sign into your GitHub account. A GitHub account is required for this. So uh, be sure to get that set up first before you start. But if you look here under fork, so you hit this, uh, you're going to create new fork. And it's going to say create new fork. And you're going to say, OK. And what you're going to do up here is you're going to go to actions. You're going to click on actions and you're going to say, I understand workflows. Go ahead and enable them. And the workflow you're looking for is right here where it says build WSA. And we're going to run workflow. So in the settings here, you have some options. Uh, we're going to do retail, stable, G apps. We're going to go here. Let's go ahead and use, uh, let's use Pico. And you can choose root or not root. We'll, we'll just do Magisk. And we're going to go ahead and click run workflow. And you can see at the top it says workflow run was successfully requested. Uh, we're going to wait uh, just a little bit here. And what's going to happen now is you can see, here we go, our build WSA workflow is starting. And this may seem super cryptic to you. Um, ultimately, the point of doing this uh, is to know that you're building these things from the ground up yourself rather than relying on someone to give you a file for it, uh, which could be insecure since you're going to be using this as an operating system. Uh, so uh, the whole point of doing this is to get a simple zip file that has some setup scripts in it. So we're going to let this uh, build WSA process run until it says it has completed. So. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward ahead to once this is finished. Okay, so uh, you can see that our build WSA has turned green. It took about 10 minutes. I'm gonna click into this. And you can see under artifacts, uh, there are two files. There's the WSA with Magis G apps for ARM and X64. Now we're going to want the x64. We're going to click on that. And we're going to let that download. <clears throat> that is our zip file that's going to contain everything we need to get this rolling. Um, so hopefully that wasn't too cryptic. Um, so I'm going to let this download. And then we'll go ahead and see how you install it from there. Okay, 
So our file is now downloaded and we're going to right click it and we're going to extract all. I'm going to extract it right there in your downloads folder, that's just fine. Okay, so after all that run around, getting your simple file and extracting it, we're going to come down here and there is an install uh, PowerShell script. Ask if you want to continue. And this, okay, uh, this is optional diagnostic data. Um, I'm going to choose not to share my diagnostic data. Click continue. And I'm going to click continue on this as well. And this is installing all of those background uh, Android subsystems. So this may take just a minute. Now we should note that uh, you wouldn't have wanted to install the Amazon App Store via Windows or have done this any other way. Uh, you would have wanted to uninstall Windows Subsystem for Android if you had installed it any other way on your device. So um, I guess that doesn't help if you're following along, but you would have realized that something was wrong at this point. But uh, if this is your first time following the guide. Okay, so we've got actual apps running. Um, you can install Magisk at this point if you want to. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Uh, I don't really have much need for, for rooting right now, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the Play Store. And you can see here that uh, these... This is, you, you now are <laughs> running Android apps. So uh, I'm going to let this run the Google updates and uh, sign in and let you see what the App Store looks like now on your Surface Go. Okay, so now <clears throat> we literally have uh, Google Apps on here and we can you know start to play some <laughs> some Google Apps on your Surface Go 3. So I'm going to install just a few apps on here and we can check performance. Okay, so I've installed a game and just a casual application to get give you an idea of performance. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is when you install these apps, they'll, they'll literally show up as if they were normal, almost Windows applications. Uh, you can see that uh, I installed Reddit right here. This is the Android version of Reddit, which you can see right there. Okay, and, and there we go, we have uh, Reddit running in its own app. 
And this is kind of cool because a lot of times the Windows Store applications, A, I don't think that it may be not true now, but I don't think there's a Windows version of Reddit in the Windows App Store other than third-party apps. So uh, here we go. You can use the Android version of Reddit. And if you look at the performance here, this is scrolling very smoothly. Um, so that's, that's great. Uh, let's tap into, you know, a, a post. No issues. This, this seems to be working pretty great. So we'll close that. Now let's go ahead and look at another game. We've got Among Us here, popular game. that in the Play Store there are you know not all the games are actually there for you to download that's because of compatibility issues and uh, people can say what type of devices uh, that the application is allowed to be installed to now um, you, that doesn't mean you can't sideload Android apps. You can still do that. There's plenty of third-party apps that you can sideload. You can uh, use APK Mirror and get whatever application you want, and chances are it might actually work on your device. So um, there we have it, uh, our Surface Go 3 running with full Google Play capabilities. Um, hopefully you found this tutorial useful and uh, if you liked it go ahead and click the like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There'll be more Surface Go videos in the future and plenty of tech videos in general. So again thanks for watching.